Hello everyone, I am Vales, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Let me see. So nothing super special today, but I was curious about SSRTs, right? But I was thinking about, like, what, what would be a tiny SSRT? Like a... What would be a tiny itty bitty SSRT? And could I make it work? Could I get a could I get a Kerbal up there? And the answer was yes. Now could I get a Kerbal with maybe a small little satellite payload? And the answer might be yes, but I don't know. Let's give it a try. I, I actually just built this and I haven't tested it yet. So anything goes. I'm actually running this bad boy on a whole bunch of spark liquid fuel engines. 48-7F so so much shit. Spark liquid fuel engines actually have some of the best thrust to weight ratio in the game but to make sure that i wasn't uh you know completely out of my mind too late as per usual i tested this craft with all the rocket engines every single one of them and i use this which you hit atmosphere and it actually gives you the true delta v while the craft is launching through the thick atmosphere thankfully thankfully what thankfully it's an ssrt so it doesn't stay in the thick atmosphere for very long so these numbers actually start to increase dramatically pretty quickly before you know it you're out of the atmosphere and click suddenly you're rocking almost 3800 Delta V with a thrust of 1.3 which is actually not what it turns into because at that time you've already lost quite a bit of weight and fuel so you're booking it. So the three best engines that actually worked for this concept was the RV-1 Cube. Wait what? Cub! Cub! Damn it I'm tired. The T-1 Aerospike and of course finally our Spark. Now numbers wise the Aerospike of course beats the Spark hands down. In Atmo it has more oomph, more Delta V and in of course vacuum even more so. Then why not just use the aerospike the entire time? I would, but the aerospike has one itty bitty little tiny little problem. It has a zero gimbal. No control, which means that I have to add more fins for control, which is more weight, or big old reaction wheel, which is even more weight, more electricity used up. It's possible it could work, but it's not all that, it wouldn't be all that, it's just, well, I don't know, I guess we could give it a shot. Maybe it's lack of control is not its not its doom. All right, here we go. Lock her up. Let's do this. Not too sure when to start my gravity turn. Maybe about 80, 80 meters per second. We'll, we'll see. In three, two, one. Looks like the reaction wheel that's inside of the Mark 1 command pod is just enough to help control it at low speeds. Let's see what happens when it gets even faster. Okay, that was my fault. Ah, the gravity turn was happening too quickly, so I tried to fix it and not and it did it. In three, two, one. That'll work. Wow, 583 meters per second left over. I wonder if I can power land this thing. Famous last words. All right, let's open her up. There we go. And release. Oh gosh, that was a hard release. Uh, okay, no, okay. Let's just move out of the way here a little bit. There we go. No problems. And activate. Nice. It's a itty bitty satellite. It's so tiny. It's so good. It's good. Very, very cute. Can't really move around, so it's sort of worthless. <laughs> there's, there's no pointing the satellite anywhere. It is adrift in space. Maybe I should change that. Ipsis. Do a little RC test. Okay, that's good. Re-entry in three, two, one, go! Ooh, pretty. Okay, 14,000 meters up and falling pretty quick. Let me just brighten this up a little bit, see? There we go. Oh, we're over land. How nice. F5 save. I'm going to attempt a power landing. A suicide power landing. 
500, 500 plus meters per second. I think TWR of almost four. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Ooh, Nelly. SpaceX style suicide burn in three, two. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Two, one. Oh no! Oh well, yes! Oh well, yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the X, I hit the C, which kind of screwed things for me. But we landed power landing. Okay. Arrow spike, huh? Well, well, well. Power landing arrow spike. Not bad. <laughs> I had my doubts with the arrow spike, but now I see those doubts were shaded, shaded, shadowed by miss calculations very very nice i like it um there's just one problem yeah, he doesn't have a way to get out <laughs> once he's out he's out he ain't coming back in well yeah about that hmm. so i'm sorry sparks well let's try with the sparks let's give the sparks a chance right they were the they were the second best let's let's give them a chance i'm i'm pretty sure that it's not gonna help any but let's let's give them a chance come on don't knock it deep try whoa 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 that's bright stay back all right spike engines in three two one Okay, so we only, we only have 93 meters per second left over. Definitely not a power landing, but I sort of knew that this was going to happen according to the numbers in the hangar bay. I trusted you and you failed me. Lights. Ooh, didn't do shit. All right, enough of that. This time we'll begin our re-entry with RCS burn. Go. Whoa! Wait a minute, 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 wait we found something very interesting here. We're nose diving. Let's open this up. Maybe create some drag, some lift. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yes. Ah. Okay. Come on. There you go. Get some lift going. There you go. Uh huh. There you go. Come on, lad. Very good. Push. Push. Very good. Push. Not yet. Not yet. Engage brakes, not yet, and parachute, quickly, there we go, we're still moving at 11 meters per second, which may not be good for uh, the health of the legs here, so just before landing, I'm going to use the 81 meters per second pinch of fuel we have left, try to soften the blow, here we go, in three, two, one, boink, <laughs> uh, I mean, not bad. We actually had more we could use, but... Okay, so it, it does the same. Okay, mission profile. Mission profile. It does the exact same thing as uh, the, 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 the craft itself. Goes up, delivers payload, comes back down. Okay, but all things considering, the arrow spike definitely had a huge, huge advantage for sure. So we'll be going with the arrow spike again. Okay, let's try that again. And this time I made it so that the fuel gets drained here first, here second, and then here third. So what I think was actually happening is because I had this tank being drained drained at last, that means the center of mass when it was draining these two tanks at the same time, the center of mass was actually going down, which made it kind of butt heavy. But now with this new sub, uh, uh, fuel draining system. It'll suck out the middle first, then the top, and then finally the bottom. The reason why I left the bottom untouched until the very last is so that it can be ass end heavy when it re-enters into Kerbin system. Kerbin, not Kerbin. Atmosphere. The atmosphere. You know what? Whatever. Let's go. Launch.
Okay, so I was having a little trouble trying to get back into the ship. <laughs> but that's alright. Details, just details. We can fix it later. So the arrow spike for the win, huh? Nice. Now this is of course not the smallest or the lightest SSRT I've ever made. If you want to check that out, it's, there's a video buried down there somewhere. You can look at it. However, this is the smallest Kerbal with satellite cargo that I've ever been able to make at this point. Cool little SSRT. Very nice, very cute, me likey. Now before we go, I want to give a shout out to a YouTuber who doesn't get the attention that he deserves. His name is Carnassa, and he uploads often Kerbal Space Program stuff. Really cool. He's doing like a heavily modded Kerbal Space Program right now. I urge you to go ahead and check him out. And did I mention that if he's in a good mood, he also sings. And he plays a mean guitar. In real life. I'm not kidding. Can't make this shit up. So definitely give him some love and check him out. Well, that's all the time I have for today in Kerbal Space Program with this SSTO or SSR. If you like what you saw, please leave a like so that the YouTube algorithm actually gives a damn. But if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program. Maybe in a little bit here, I might do other space games or building games, building space games. I don't know, combination of the two. We'll see. I also have a membership thing if you want to try it out. Comes with cool little emojis and stuff and badges and whatnot. Definitely check it out. But anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.